Hi everyone, Arlen here, coming to you from my bathroom. <laughs> Again, we are fixing to go to Williamsburg today. So I am just finishing getting dressed. Kristen just arrived and we're fixing to get on out of here in just a few minutes. So I wanted to come on here while I was finishing my hair and I'm gonna try to use this clip that I got the other day, yesterday, Yeah, Charming Charlie. So I'm taking a, some pst, y'all ever heard of that? Some dry shampoo over my hair. And then I curl just the ends of it just to try to give it a little oomph. I do get it colored tomorrow. So let me see if I can get it up in this clip without making myself look like a poodle the first time out. Ouch, again, I have so much product in my hair and doesn't want to move. All right, let's see. Nope. Nope. Let's try again. Sometimes this takes me three or four times to get this right. Oh. All right, let's see. Not bad. Ease. Anyway, we're heading to, to uh, Williamsburg today, and I'm going to try my best to do some uh, videoing but I don't know how much I'll get done, and I don't know whether I'll be able to fit everything that I do into one video. So this might be a part one and part two video. So we'll call this part one. And you know, maybe, I'll get everything into one. But and I'm not planning on buying a ton, and we're only planning on going in a few stores. Stupid hair. Hang on. And I sprayed like, like crazy, didn't I? Let's try this again. better before. All right. You know how you want your hair to look really good when you're going somewhere and it just doesn't want to work out for you? That's my day here today. Any other day I throw it up and it would not give me one look of trouble. Calm down there. All right. All right. As I was saying, we are not going to go into all that many stores. Krista wants to go into Kate Spade. I want to go into Dooney and Burke. And we might go into Coach. And I definitely want to go to the Yankee Candle flagship store and possibly the Christmas Mouse, but Christmas Mouse is one of my favorite, all-time favorite stores down there, and I usually go in, we used to, my mom and dad, my mom and dad always came down, and my dad still does for Thanksgiving, but we would always take a trip to, they would always go down to Williamsburg the day after Thanksgiving, and then, so that's always, as you know, a Friday, and then that Saturday, Chris, the girls, and I would go down, and we'd all spend the day together and shop and then we'd go to Captain George's seafood buffet for dinner. So we are going to hold with tradition today and we will go there for dinner and then head back home. It's the day trip but uh, it's always fun and I always come back with something. I'm not sure what I'll come back with but it'll be something I'm sure. <laughs> so. I don't know that I'm going to talk too much in the car going down. That's why I decided to go ahead and do this here because Kristen is with us and she and I will probably be chatting. So I will be sure to turn the camera on when I get to the outlets. 
heard Chris just letting the pups out for the last time. And they will be absolutely fine. They always sleep. I'm sure my curling iron is unplugged. They always sleep through the day, so they will be absolutely fine and dandy. <laughs> no problem. So, I'm ready to roll. I just need to put my shoes on. So, I'll be talking to you from behind the camera from now on. And, which is probably a good thing. That way you don't have to look at my old gray hair. <laughs> Golly, guys. Anyway, tomorrow. I got it colored tomorrow. Woohoo! I am thrilled. So, anyway, I will catch you all when we get to Williamsburg. I'm excited. Well, here we are in a rest stop here in Virginia. I always think it's very neat. This is... One of the nicest rest stops. On our way to Williamsburg, and they have all of this stuff here. Your pamphlets, and give you some reading material as you go. Even give you a map of what you can find. Which is really cool. So, very nice. For lovers. It's a very busy place, too. Very, very, very busy place. Hotel coupons. No smoking. in the car. Talk to you when we get to Williamsburg. Alrighty guys, we're getting very close to Williamsburg here. We're getting ready to take our next exit. Williamsburg, next three exits. We're going to be taking the light foot exit. And Chris is going to drive us by the pottery part of Williamsburg. When I was younger, the pottery used to be in warehouses and a jumbled mess of a bunch of cheap stuff <laughs> but nowadays they've given it a facelift Here you go light foot exit given it a fa off of route 64 south west east what where are we going east 64 east sorry <laughs> like i said I'm, I'm directly challenged you guys anyway they've given the pottery a facelift and it's very cool looking right now very neat we are not going to go in because there's nothing I need and it's you know very nice though inside they have lovely things and so if you ever come here and if you've never been here before I would definitely suggest that you stop by the pottery part of Williamsburg very good historic triumph Hoping it's not too busy down here. A lot of kids are on spring break this week, so I guess we'll see how it is. A little bit of a wide load here, I would say so. Gracious. Because we got to go back the other way to go to the outlets. So here's the pottery. As I said, we're not going to go in here, but we are going to ride by so you guys can kind of get a take a take a look. Isn't it sweet looking? I just think it's so pretty. The way, and they've got uh, little signs out that you can see for pots and plants. I just thought that they did an excellent job with their facelift here. All the old pottery used to be way behind all these buildings, and you'd have to go down the different streets and find it parking lots that were massive and this you can just go to the place where you want like seasonal there. I have the wind in your ears there but seasonal before. It gives you all kinds of signs as to where you could go. Candles and scents. We are going to be taking you into the Yankee Candle flagship ship store later which is awesome they have all kinds of silk flowers no pit berries that i've ever found down here so but framing it's nice to get tons of stuff 
see their signs. As a matter of fact, I just have to need to pause your computer there as we're going along. But there you go. That's the pottery part of the Williamsburg. Williamsburg pottery. All right, here we come up on the outlets. I'm actually going to get out. Chris is letting me out in one place, Kristen out in another, and then he's going to go get gas and come back and retrieve us. So I am wanting to go to, I'd like to go into Chico's too, that's so there's Coach, Tommy Hilfiger. Which one do you want to go to? I wanted to go to Dooney and Burke. I thought it was down from Coach. Or is it over there? It's down here. Okay, that's fine. Now, Mom, you aren't going to go to the... That, that, okay. I got it. Alrighty, I'm out and walking. I'll just show you some pictures around here. Lots of outlets. The Gap, J. Crew, Hello, Eddie Bauer, New Balance, Calvin Klein, North Face. It's one of Candace's favorite stores. She, bless her heart, is working and can't be with us today, although she would love this. More for Captain George's <laughs> than anything else because she loves, love, love, loves crab legs. They have a whole store for Pandora. Just a whole, an entire thing just for Pandora. I smell the perfume store, my gracious. Easy spirit. Seen them on TV. Stay up tonight. And this is where I'm heading. Union Burke. These are like, I'm carrying this purse today. Oh, look, they have a red one, you guys. Oh, no. $288. I love that red one. Oh, they have 
him peek. Look, 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 look. No, it's not a zipper though, is it? Oh no, they don't have any pockets in the front. Tickets reflect final price. I'm sorry, honey. I am. When it says 50% off, that means it's 50% off mm -hmm. of the tag. Okay, I mean, these are already marked back yes. here, but up there. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. And we are participating in the promotion of the mall. Um, we give a $10 donation to the Breast Cancer Association. They give you a coupon book. Um, it gives you an extra 25% off coupon for us and quite a few other stores. Oh, okay. It does apply to one item. Um, for us, it applies to pretty much the whole store besides Clarence. So. Awesome. I have my eye on a <laughs> purse up there. Yeah, that might, awesome. That might a, a big help with that. It um, might. Store. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you for that info. I like this one. All right, she said 50% off of the price. Now, this is going to be expensive, you guys. So I'm just warning you. So it's $288. So that would be $144 plus give her 10 more dollars and they get a coupon book and they get 25% off so might be worth it let me see how much the little one is although I like the bigger purse so I don't think I would be happy with the little one so I'm not even gonna look at it actually tell you the truth I'm gonna get this you guys yep I found it I was looking for a red one and I am going to get it all right I'm go over here to the register and I will be right back. All right. Guess how much I spent for that $288 purse. When all was said and done, they took the 50% off. And then they took the 25% off of the coupon I got. I spent $114 for that purse. I'll take it. That's pretty good. And I've been looking for a red one and have not been able to find a red one. So... I'm a happy girl. Now I'm heading to Kristen, who is at Kate Spade, and I'm gonna see. I told her to hang on if she found anything she wants, and I'm gonna. There we go. Kettle corn. But anyway, I'll be back when I get to her. Well, Chris just met me halfway between Dooney and Burke and Kate Spade, so because he knew I'd be videoing. So he told me, you take your time, get into Kate Spade, I'll walk on down with the coupon for Kristen. So that's what he did. So I'm gonna take some pictures on my way and walk a little slower. So I'm not making you guys dizzy. Use her Under Armour. There's a map. If you guys wanted to pause your computers, I'll take a A picture of the map. I have a 
the Michael Kors, I should go in and look look at that because you guys have been telling me that I should check out Michael Kors. Hi everyone, Arlen here, back in my house. I think this is the way I'm going to work this little Williamsburg series. Take you on a tour wherever I'm taking you when we were in Williamsburg and then coming back here to my house and doing a little haul. And today's haul is just little because the only place we've been so far is Dooney and Burke. And as I told you guys, we didn't go into every place and I'm just telling you, I know I had mentioned that I was heading down to Kate Spade, and I never got in there though. So I just wanted to warn you about that just in case you guys were looking for Kate Spade, although I will show you what Kristen did purchase. So, but anyway, today I want to show you <laughs> what I did purchase, that beautiful red purse from Dooney and Burke, and that is the only thing I'm gonna show you today, and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my Dooney, so you guys can see what I have in my purse. So this is kind of a, combination <laughs> come with me on a trip a little haul and a, let's see what's in your purse do they have those on on i know it's like let me see what's in your carry-on and that kind of stuff but i'm gonna show you what's in my purse today so <laughs> whatever all right so this is how i walked out of duny and burke just with a brown paper bag with handles and she went ahead and put it in as first purse diva told me the other day, the dust bag, I didn't even know what they were called, to be honest with you, till she said that. <laughs> so that's how, that's how they packed it up. But I'm gonna go with her advice and not necessarily keep it in this dust bag, but there's the dust bag. And it does obviously cover the whole purse and I can pull it shut. And that's just like a little string, white string. So, all right, let's pull this beauty out. And here it is. Oh, I have been looking and looking and looking for this purse, you guys. For, well, for this purse in red. As I told you guys, I have one or showed you in my Dooney and Burke collection video. I have one of this, this exact purse in white with black trim, and then I have it in black with this color brown trim. And now I have it in red, a true red, which is my favorite, one of my very favorite colors to carry, decorate with, and wear. <laughs> so I have one in red. And as I told you, you know what, well, what did I do? Chris and I have searched and searched for this coupon, little coupon pamphlet. It looked like this. This I got for having triple A. This is not it. This gives you 10% off. If you have triple A and you want to go to the mall off or the what do they call it the mall office or the outlet office you can go and you can get one of these and you'll get you can get 10 percent off and they mark off they have like a little box that the merchants check off once you've been in and, and have used it same thing applied to another pamphlet like this that kristen we think has <laughs> at her house with her uh, but I went over to the outlet office, the main office, which was two doors down from Duty and Burke, so it worked out really well. And I got a pamphlet just like this, only, and I paid her 10 I got this for free because I have AAA, but I paid her $10 to get that pamphlet. And it had lists of stores in it, just like this, that you could take in to all the outlet stores and get 25% off on top of your already discounted items. Not clearance items. Kristen couldn't use it in Kate Spade, come to find out, because her what she purchased was already on deep clearance. So she couldn't use it there. But I did use it at Duty and Burke because this purse was not, this purse was 50% off because all of their regularly priced things were 50% off. But if I had purchased something back in their clearance section, then I couldn't have 
use the uh, the extra coupon but anyway and I and ran into I ran somebody just come to find out I ran into somebody when I came walking back in because I've set this on the counter and right where the video ended I ran out the door and ran down and got and picked up the pamphlet when I came back there's a lovely lady standing in there and I told her about and she said oh what do you have honey and I said well I have this coupon if you go down here blah 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 and I told her about it she said I'm a breast cancer survivor Thank you so much for showing me that. I will walk down there and get one or get my son to. Bless her heart, she was not in very good shape. Uh, not because I don't think of the breast cancer, but just she was elderly and couldn't have, you know, walked really fast to get down there. But anyway, kind of did my good deed for the day. I felt like that day. Regardless, I ended up, this was $288 to begin with. And as I've said and warned, <laughs> Duty and Burke is quite expensive. So there you can see it was $288 to begin with. They had it marked 50% off. So that brought it down to $144. And then I used the 25% off discount. And they said the pink coupon. That's what it was called. It was called the pink coupon. <clears throat> and that took another $36 off. So my total was $108 plus $6.48 tax. So my total was $114.48 for a Dooney and Burke bag. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Dooney, you will know that I got one heck of a deal on this puppy. So I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled with this bag. I could not be happier. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch my purse out now. You guys can come along with me. I haven't taken my Flonase yet, by the way. I'm fixing to do that when I get done. I'm not feeling horrible, but you can hear it's still there. So, I'm going to go ahead and take it. Even though I don't feel as congested as I did up in my face, I can still, you know, it's still flowing down the, down the chute there. So, I'm going, to, I'm going to try it today. So, all right. Let me cut my tag. Let me, um, you want me to... Scooch this down. Okay. Get my scissors here. There we go. Spool of paper. Go and put it in the... Bag it came the in. pockets, and I always check. You know what? I always check for those magnetic. You know, sometimes those little magnetic squares they put in purses. I have set off a couple of store alarms, people. You know, because I'd forgotten to take them out of a new purse or something. You can register your Dooney. Interested in more Dooney and Burke products? Call one eight eight blah blah for a catalog or visit their website. Dooney and Burke products prove their enduring value by actually improving with age. We stand behind the durability of our leather goods and offer an unconditional guarantee against any defects in craftsmanship for a full year of normal use. To register your bag, please fill out this postage paid card and drop it in the mail at your earliest convenience. Let me give you a little registration card. I will fill that out. All right. Medium zipper pocket sack. That was taped to the inside. Alrighty. Now, I already switched out my wallet to my other red. I already had a red Dooney. I have one other red Dooney purse, but it's very uncomfortable to carry, honestly. So, I switched it out to this one. Go ahead and use that. Let's see. I have a combination of bags here because this is the bag I used... The other day, again, another Dooney. That's the one I carried in Williamsburg as my crossbody. So I switched out the wallet, and I had this little fossil wallet with me. So I switched everything out. Here's my keys to everything and everybody. And let's see here. Then before that, you know, I was carrying my Vera. I'm putting that away. I knew she wouldn't last long, my Vera. More lipstick. Okie dokie. This is my little 
Vera catch-all bag, and I'm going to use it because it has the red in it, and of course I want it to match. So, But this is what I use for extra, like a mirror. These are tweezers. Kristen got me these for Christmas. Aren't they cute? Oops. Little tweezers with a mirror. That goes in there. Tissues. My lip liner that I very rarely use, but I do keep with me because it won't fit in. I used to get my lipstick in this little bag. Right now, I consolidated my, I also have a powder palette from Clinique that I use. So that'll fit in. And then my lipsticks go in here. And this little bag, of course, matches this little bag because I'm not anal retentive or anything. And this is another little Vera bag. And it holds my card. I have a little card. Isn't that cool? There we go. And I do give that out in Hobby Lobby a good bit. So they can come and look at my uh, look at my blog. So that uh, orbit spearmint and peppermint. And I'll go in my little catch-all bag here. And then I have a little pill pill case with my Advil, Tylenol, and an Amusel just in case I'm on a trip and need a little relief. Doesn't happen often, but hey, you know, put that in there. And that does it. Oh wait, this is the catch-all bag I had in <clears throat> my Vera. So I have a Tide stick. Then I have a little, I don't often use this, but Kristen got me this, it's a little shaver. Just in case I'm desperate and can't find a pair of tweezers, shave my, you know, the, the, the chin hairs that come out and wave at you. Yeah, got a couple of those. So, I think I'm gonna take my, I can't fit everything in here. Forgot about this bag. And I have just some hand cream. And some Visine. Man, I could have used that the other day. Whew. And I had switched to the littler purse and I didn't have it with me. Then just some Band-Aids. You know, you never know if you're wearing a pair of shoes that hurt your heels. I always try to remember to take some band-aids along or somebody falls and take a couple of extra toothpicks. And that is all that's in there. So it goes back with my Vera. There we go. There's my catch-all bag. I'm gonna go in the bottom there. And my gum will fit in a smaller pocket inside. Oh, I didn't even show you that, did I? It has Two pockets on this side, one that's about halfway across, and then the other is about a th about three quarters of the way across, I would say, and then the other's about the other quarter. And then on the other side, there is a zipper, and then with a pocket right below the zipper, which is where I'm going to put my pens, because land knows I need my pens. And... My mirror and my compact will go in that and my lipstick have some mints throw those in with my pens and I have a glasses case for my sunglasses usually this also has oh, a place where you can hook your keys which I didn't do that did I I should do that the ones that I use I'll hook them on there there we go and that, my friends, does it. And then my phone usually goes in my zipper part. And I'll be honest, I take this these out to as far as they will go to make the strap as long as it will go. Boy, this is really... Not easy to do because it's brand new. There we go. Do it 
on this side too. Well, it didn't want to stay in there, does it? My gracious, there we go. There we go. And then you can also pull it, I can't get this off, I need to get Chris to do that, my hands are not strong enough, but you can also, un, kind of, it's kind of like a button, and you can kind of unbutton and pull that up and put it in this hole, but I'm not strong enough to do that, my hands, so let me tilt this back up, this back. can I tell y'all, and that is that for this day, so Next, I'm trying to think where I go next. Next, we uh, travel around the outlet still some more, and I can't remember where I videotaped. I know I went into Lane Bryant. Don't, I think my phone started to act up on me, uh, which we fixed along the way, but I also have a video that I took with Chris's phone in Bath and Body Works. I think I will cover Bath and Body Works next and the little walk around the outlets and we'll see how far I get. I don't know how much time I video. I don't know how much I have on video to be honest with you guys. So we'll see what comes next and I'll see when you guys see pretty much. All right, so that's it for the day. And I'm just gonna say until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.